Well, g'day everyone, how's it going? Coming at you from the studio today. And in this video, I wanna show you something that I just figured out and I cannot believe that I haven't known about this before today. Um, this comes from a video from ZY Productions that I just watched and poof, finally I'm sorting out these focusing issues that I've been having with the Canon R5 and the RF lens combination. So this is a bit of a game changer. Basically what was happening is I was shooting a lot with the R5 and the 24 to 70 RF lens, which I really love the look of the lens, but I was having issues when I switched to manual focus to actually get my focus locked in. And I was finding that like, it was really sensitive. Like for some reason it was like, I would go towards where I thought the focus would be intuitively from back in the EF lens days, you know, one of my favorite lenses, as you guys would know, if you've been following my channel for a while, is the 24 F1.4 L series Mark II in the Canon EF series lenses. This is beautiful focus pull on this lens and it's very intuitive and I feel like I can nail focus on this. But then coming to the RF lens, I was sort of struggling with getting focus. It felt, it felt very, um, digital and it felt like I was missing focus. Something was happening where, you know, with different intensity, with different speed, it was catching focus. Then other times if I slowed down, it wouldn't reach focus. So the distance felt always different. And I just realized that there's a setting that I didn't have set up properly in order to make this work in the way that I wanted. And I want to show you that setting right now. So let's jump to the back of the camera and I'll take you to that setting to tweak. And seriously, if you've been having problems as well with the RF lenses, with focusing, this is a game changer. So if we jump to the back of the camera, here we are now uh, on the back of the RF and I'm just gonna hit menu and go to uh, the AF setting. Even though it is manual focus setting, it's still under the AF menu. And RF lens, MF focus ring, sensitivity. Now click on this. Now there's two settings here. One is varies with the rotation speed. The other is linked to rotation degree. And you want to change it. Uh, as per the standard, it comes out with varies with rotation speed. You want that to be linked to rotation degree. And that my friends is the way you get back to how it used to be on the EF lenses for your RF lens. Now the focus ring is basically the same as like you go this far and it focuses this much. You go that far and it focuses that much. It's not based on speed. It doesn't overshoot your focus point or undershoot your focus point and it is so much easier to work the camera in that way. So let me just take you through. I'll do some clips on this um, camera right now to show you exactly what that's like. So we'll jump on over to what I'm shooting here and I'll just shoot this setup here with the cameras and what, whatever I have on my screen. So you can just get a feel for how this focus now works. So if I hit record now, basically I'm set to this way where focus is set to degrees. So there we go. So now I know my focus on this part of the screen here is set right. So I can come off focus and I can pull focus back to there and it's back to that same point again. So if I change that to varies with rotation speed, then the thing is it varies. So wherever I am, it goes, so that same focus point isn't actually, you know, like I can nail it sometimes, but where that ends, where that focus ends is really arbitrary every time. It's arbitrary, see? Every time I've got to slowly find my point of focus. Whereas if I jump to the other way, the other menu, which is linked to rotation degree, then when I hit record, basically now I know my focus is always going to come back to that same position. And then I can get my muscle memory going and really work the focus in the way that I want. So for me, I don't know about you, but that is a game changer. I cannot believe I didn't know for this long. I've shot like, you know, 10 projects now on this using manual quite a lot and I just couldn't seem to figure it out. So there it is, you learn something new every single day. So hopefully that helps you guys. This is also true for the EOS R, which I'm shooting on right now. And if you're using the EOS R as well with RF lenses, it has this same setting. So a game changer for all of us who are shooting on the EOS R, the RP, uh, the R5 and the R6. 
and I'm crazy that I didn't know about this before. So thank you so much for watching and tuning in to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're gonna change the setting on your camera or check out this setting change, maybe comment below. If it helped you, uh, put the comment below, say thank you and say thank you to ZY Productions as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh,